Now, Sanju Are Varma, you? please come in. Sanju Varma, my point is why is there a, the Bihar government is run in tandem as a coalition between the BJP and the JDU? Uh, let me ask you this. Why have the orders not been passed that all schools should immediately revert to, state, uh, to the original rule and Sunday format immediately? That order has not been passed on Tuesday. Anand, Anand, even as the debate was going on, uh, you know, I uh, uh, just found out that the uh, Bihar ke Upa Mukhya Mantri, hai, Tara Kishor Prasad, wo aur Vijay Kumar Chaudhary, who is Bihar ke Education uh, Minister, hai, un dono se a latest development is that the schools will be clearly said that the Bihar Education Act 1961 and Bihar Education Amended Act 1966, if you are not designated Urdu school, तो आपको बकायदा शुक्रवार नहीं पर शनिवार और रविवार को ही छुट्टी मिलेगी और यदि आपने छात्रों को मजबूर किया कि जुम्मे के दिन छुट्टी लो तो आप पर कड़े से कड़ा नियम अनुसार कार्रवाई नहीं आपको बहुत कुछ झेलना पड़ेगा ओके बिग न्यूज वन सेकेंड वन मिनट वन मिनट आई एम गोइंग कम बैक कम बैक टू ऑन अ टू विंडो एंड संजू वर्मा प्लीज रिपीट दिस ऑर्डर जस्ट नाउ दिस इज ब्रेकिंग हियर ऑन द राइट स्टैंड दिस इज द लेटेस्ट ऑर्डर दैट संजू वर्मा इज सेइंग हैज बीन पास बाय द डेप्यूटी चीफ मिनिस्टर इन बिहार यस गो एट प्लीज प्लीज टेल अस अगेन व्हाट इज द ऑर्डर दैट्स बीन पास्ड यू नो आनंद आई विल रिफ्रेन फ्रॉम सेइंग दैट द ऑर्डर हैज बीन पास बट देयर इज अ कंसेंसस that Tara Kishore Prasad and Vijay Kumar Chaudhary, the education minister, are in tandem to come out with an order stating that if there are schools that are not designated as Urdu schools or minority schools, wide Bihar Education Act 1961 or the amended Bihar Education Act of 1966, then not only will a proper probe be conducted against the concerned schools, but due punishment will also be meted out to those authorities who are flouting the State Education Act of 1961-66 and forcing students to take a holiday Mandate on Friday rather than Saturday and Sunday. तो मैं तारा किशोर जी आई गोट चेक विद आर टीम इन द इन द नेक्स्ट फाइव सेवन मिनट्स टू द टाइम ऑफ दिस डिबेट अरे अभी तक तो आप उनके लिए बैटिंग कर रहे थे अभी बोल रहे हैं हम तो यही कह रहे थे सर आप इधर भी इधर भी बैटिंग कर रहे हैं उधर भी बैटिंग कर रहे हैं एक तरफ रुकी सर ऐसा मत कीजिए चित्रंजन जी जब मैं आपसे सवाल पूछता हूं जो आपको आपके लिए डिफिकल्ट होते हैं आप गोल पोस्ट शिफ्ट करते हैं नहीं तो फिर आप कहते हैं कि बैट्समैन भी मैं हूं नॉन स्ट्राइक पर भी मैं बैटिंग करूंगा ऐसा मत कीजिए आई एम गोइंग टू ट्राई एंड सी इफ आर टीम कैन गेट इन टच विथ चौधरी जी और तारा किशोर जी एंड इफ यू कैन गेट दम ऑन द फोन एंड गेट अ कॉन्फर्मेशन ऑफ वॉट संजू वर्मा इज जस्ट टोल्ड अतिकुर रहमान जी नमस्ते दिस शुड नॉट बी अलाउड सर Either you get state Namaste. sanction, either you get state sanction, and you act as per permission. Otherwise, bullying your way through and cause through is not a fair thing to do. And if people are allowing it, then this is appeasement, and this is not good. This is bad politics. Anand, candidly speaking, this is a very disturbing factor. At least, at least in education or elsewhere, also communalization is, you know, rather not accepted. You know. Uh, as far as the religion of Islam is concerned, I should say, Anand, hmm. there is no concept of a holiday in Islam. The most auspicious day, which is an Eid day, hmm. rather than offering five times namaz, we offer six times namaz. Hmm. The concept of a sabbat is a Christian concept. Hmm. Allah wants His, you know, pious devotees to be performing all the day-to-day -day routine jobs. And then come and offer the prayers and the namaz. Hmm. Even during the Ramzan times, there is no sabbat, no holiday, no concessions. Our day-to-day -day affairs, schooling, office, regular business, you know, going to the market, coming back with all responsibilities conferred upon you, you then offer namaz or the roza. Hmm. There is no con concept of a holiday or a sabbat in Islam. So we do not understand, hmm. and this Hello? was the reason when Mulayam Singh Yadav government offered a Friday holiday in UP some years back. It was the Muslims who said thanks, but no thanks. Hmm. Please do not communalize these issues. Hmm. We do not need any holiday. Hmm. Sunday no. is better if it is secular. You know, we have Atikurji. Atikurji, we have we have had this discussion. Now here is the problem. Now when we did the investigation, what it was found is that Muslim families, Muslim parents, Muslim teachers, all of them are saying we prefer to have Sunday holiday. 
clearly there are certain elements in society who are bulldozing and bullying their way and the other part is they have been allowed to do so my issue is not with the parents and with the children because they will obviously comply with the rules it's those who are actually enforcing this and who are pushing this they are the ones and they are obviously getting a certain level of political patronage now this is harmful to our society that's it because i see that's, i tell you what today today there are there are there are certain pre, certain robust elements in the muslim society there in bihar and the simachal region were bullying their way through saying we are 75% tomorrow you will have elements who will say we are 75% hindus so we should have uh, holidays on tuesdays then they will turn around there will be certain groups who will say no no we are robust christian groups will say how dare you have a But holiday Anand, other than sunday this is this is india sir this is not islamic state of pakistan or islamic state of bangladesh But this Anand, is not another this is eliminating not eliminating such elements i do not think it's a rocket science Absolutely. eliminating it it is in the in the hands of the government you know hmm. it can be easy and eliminated please hmm. the community as such hmm. will not demand anything like like this No, I'm with you on that. I'm with you. I'm with you on that. When whoever is whoever fanning or whoever is emboldening these radical elements should also be brought to book, and they clearly have political backing, because political parties are are shying clear of taking a clear position. They have allowed this to pass. That's yes, it. yes, Sanju Verma. We are 15, 15, 17 years old. If it's going on like this, then obviously this is being allowed, no? Yes, Sanju Verma. Yeah, thank you, Anand. Anand, I think you know. Once I'm completely in, uh, uh, you know, agreement with what uh, Atiku Rahman is saying. Mm. Uh, the larger point is not merely about the municipality uh, school uh, curriculum and school environment uh, by bringing faith into the domain. Mm. If you recall a few months back, when there was this hijab controversy in Karnataka, whether hijab should be allowed uh, in schools which already have a pre, uh, you know, decided uniform, there were people who said yes. Hijab is fundamental to our faith until the Karnataka High Court decided against it. Hmm. So my simple point is this: that in that particular judgment, the Karnataka High Court said follow the Karnataka State Education Act of 1980 to 84. Hmm. And I think taking a few from that, the Bihar government is now saying that we will follow the State Education Act of 1961-66 and the provisions thereof. Hmm. So I think nobody should have a problem if there is already something that is mandated from the beginning. Then you cannot suddenly after 10 years or 20 years, 30 years say, "Mera abhi mat kare, kya ki mai isko Urdu school designate karke jumme ki chutti lena shuru kar do." So I think law of the land should prevail, but we should not give intellectual cover fire like some people started doing at the peak of the hijab controversy, when there were elements who started giving intellectual cover fire under the garb of saying that you know hijab is fundamental to our faith. no fair point made uh, uh, we've got a confirmation we've been they are actually trying tarak kishor ji and also uh, vijay choudhary ji but we've not been able to get through to them on the phone line but i'm going to ask saurabh our teammate in down ground uh, in bihar and he will follow up on this story we are given we've been promised action we've been promised action that's what we are given to understand 